Here, let's see what Mamala uh, had to say recently. They taught us that we could do anything and should never be burdened by the limitations of other people to be able or not be able to see what can be. And this is that community who understands and can see what is possible unburdened by what has been. Oh, please don't. I'm oh my God. No, I just in 2020 during the primaries, Kamala Harris had this very Kamala Harris had this like Democratic Party method that she would routinely demonstrate that I absolutely despise and made fun of her for quite frequently, which is the classic word salad of saying so many things while not saying anything at all. I think that especially when you're running against someone like Donald Trump, who is so straight to the chase, you cannot do. Yeah, Jordan Peterson is a great example. You can't do this like Jordan Peterson. Sh you can't do this like word salad. Sh what you confront fundamentally in the world is what is unknowable. And what is un unknowable has an intrinsic meaning. It's both frightening and compelling simultaneously. It activates predator detection systems that protect you in the way that a prey animal is protected by freezing and withdrawal and that sort of thing. But it also makes you curious. So that which you do not understand which is something that you can conceptualize as that which has not yet been made habitable world. Let's take a look at this thread of, you know, top Kamala Harris moments. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> you exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> She's right. Clapping along to a song protesting her in Puerto Rico and stopping when her aide translated it to her. This was really funny. I love, I love good news, love good news. I just love good news. <laughs> I love My goat, me after being indoctrinated by an alien overlord calling what good news after the global intergalactic invasion of 2063, dancing down the hallway with a bunch of children during her campaign. Oh, this was awesome. I think Megaphonics is not even entirely wrong. I can't believe I'm saying that. I hope this does not actually play into him becoming more unhinged here. But to be honest, when she's off script in moments like these, she kind of comes off as the average suburban middle-aged mom. It low-key works, I think. Don't underestimate the average suburban middle-aged mom vote. I don't think you're wrong. Can't believe I'm saying that. I hope this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. See you guys later. Thank you. It's the Bennett's. Hello, Madam Vice President. Hello, Senator Bennett. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that one's actually about banger. Okay. That okay, one's, I've never seen that one before. That's awesome. By the way, isn't that Blumenthal and then Bennett back to back? What did they know? Both have come out against Brandon. It's the Bennett's. Hello, Madam Vice President. Hello, Senator Bennett. Thank you very much. You're welcome. 
Kamala through the first brick at Stonewall. I like it. Yes. I like this it. is the song of the summer, okay? <laughs> Fifty-four years, standing right here, we fought for our rights. Unbelievable. Tell us something that we can be optimistic about this Pride season. We are all in this together. Okay. We are fighting for the ideals of our country. We believe in its promise of equality and freedom. We are not going to be deterred. We are not going to tire. Nope. We're not going to throw up our hands. We're going to roll up our sleeves. That's to me, Stonewall means strength in numbers. Yeah. Every time you put a rock on that wall, we become stronger and That's stronger right. and stronger. And you put your rock here today. Aww. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. How were the tips this weekend? Very good. Very good? <laughs> wow. People are very good. Yes. 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 America needs a mom in charge. Our students at the I see our college students at the <laughs> And let me just tell you, I love Gen Z. I don't know if it's up, you know, I love Gen Z. <laughs> so, okay, for the older adults, this is going to be a humbling thing I'm about to share with you. If someone is 18 years old today, they were born in 2005. <laughs> oh, yeah, check that out. Think about that for a minute. <laughs> Okay, that hurt me too. Like, I, why am I catching a stray? You know? Oh, she's doing the what can be unburdened by what has been again. Yo, this is her bar. I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been. You know? What can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened. By what has been. What why is she so zooted? I don't know. I think this is the reason why all of her staffers keep quitting. They keep telling her, like, dude, stop saying that. <laughs> like, nobody understands what you mean by it. And it kind of sucks. You think you're eating, but like, all you, you sound like you just ate an edible. No, she didn't eat, bro. She ate a bar. She didn't. Those aren't bars. She ate a bar. She's barred out. But we can see what we believe can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been. Like, dude, <laughs> Bill Clinton is another fossil fuel, too. And is younger than Joe Biden. What can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been who we can be unburdened by who we have been what can be unburdened by what has been where we can be unburdened by where we have been and unburdened by where we are right now what can be unburdened by what has been what can be bro she thinks this is fire okay oh my god what is she doing oh my god stop Oh, God. She's going to come out so strong with this. How am I not myself? The Kamala Harris story. Oh, my God. This is 56 seconds so far, and it feels like a lifetime. Unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been. What could be unburdened by what had been. What can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been 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 unburdened by what has been believing in what can be what can be unburdened by what has been 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 what she thinks this is fire because it's probably a recycled version of that Marxist phase of tradition weighing on the mind of the living. I mean, maybe it does track her father, which uh, she is not on good terms with. Donald Sterling Harris, I believe, uh, is a Marxist professor at Stanford. He actually is a Marxist. 
Pete Buttigieg and Kamala Harris both had Marxist dads. Hold on. I don't want to mess up his name. Is it not Sterling Harris? No, it's not Donald Sterling Harris. Donald Sterling is the racist guy. Uh, Donald J. Harris. Um, Donald J. Harris is a Jamaican-American economist and professor emeritus at Stanford University, known for applying post-Keynesian ideas to development economics. He's the father of the 49th and current vice president of the United States, Kamala Harris. And the, the coconut tree thing is literally like... <laughs> The coconut tree argument <laughs> could be applied in a in in Marx's terms for sure. So maybe I don't know. I don't know if she thinks she's like doing you know liberal version like a like a liberal version of that kind of. I don't know how the coconut tree thing is basically saying you're a product of your material conditions. Yes, it is materialism. Like the coconut the coconut tree thing is materialism. 100%. Um, it, that's not even a joke. She's doing liberal dialectics. <laughs> yes. But we know that she's not exactly a, a socialist at all. <laughs> but yeah, he's um, he's criticized Kamala Harris quite a bit. Like she, He wrote a scathing uh, op-ed about her talking about smoking weed, smoking ganja, and like tying it back to being Jamaican. She, he was very, very disappointed in her. Um, regardless... The, the what can be unburdened by what has been I don't what I don't know what the f that's about unburdened by what has been what can be unburdened by what has been what can be unburdened by what has been what could be unburdened by what had been okay I can't listen to the rest we of need it. you to be mamala of the country <laughs> Absolutely hating when Drew Barrymore asked her to be Mama. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's being delivered. And so tomorrow. just little. One minute out. I have one okay. minute. Yeah. Kosher salt, fresh ground pepper. Um, maybe chop up a little thyme. And just and then you can mix it even with. Okay, so do the salt and pepper all over it, like like just like lather that baby up, right? With mm -hmm. the, on the outside in the cavity. Um, you could also chop up, but not with the thyme, just the salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Mix that up also with some thyme. You could even do a little rosemary if you want. Under the skin with some butter before you're going to cook it. Uh-huh. So that, that that butter will just you're melt in do, there. And then get a nice big bottle of, of cheap white wine to baste with butter. Yes, hi. Meeting her Jewish mother-in-law. She puts my hand, my face in her hand. <laughs> So it's Barb and Mike, my father-in-law's Mike. She puts my face in her hand. She looks at me and she says, oh, look at you. <gasps> You're prettier than you are on television. Mike, look at her. No. <laughs> She puts my hand, my face in her hand. I can't believe she did that. I can't believe she did that. That's crazy. I, dude, there's a lot of stuff here. You are very good looking for your age. What do you, how old do you think I am? I'm 32, man. I'm about to be 33. What the hell? Not that funny. I mean, it was pretty. <laughs> this person is one heartbeat away from the presidency. She was pretty good at the accent. It comes from a place of like, you know, closeness to the subject matter for sure. I love Venn diagrams. <laughs> I really do. I love Venn diagrams. It's just something about those three circles and the analysis about where there is the intersection, right? Yeah, I see people that you agree with me, right? So, okay. So I asked my team. I, I brought props. I love Venn yeah, no, she, she did do a good job with the, the accent, and therefore it's Hassanabi approved. Governor and I, and we were all um, doing a tour of the library here and um, talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time in terms of... Okay, the more I see her, the more I'm like, maybe it's not so bad. Am I going crazy? Am I getting am I getting mama led right? Ah, 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 please. Eight years of this, not so bad.
Anyway, let's get back to Mamala. What we need to do to lay these wires, what we need to do to create these jobs. And there is such great significance to the passage of time when we think about a day in the life of our children. The governor and I. I think the, signific the passage of time is significant. She's right. Oh, this is the classic. You know this one already. We all know this is the best thing that she's ever said. Do not come. Do not come. I'm going to come. Oh. When talking about immigrants, by the way, asylum seekers, this was her talking about asylum seekers, but it's such a ridiculous standalone quote that like, obviously people forgot the, 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 the context in which she said this, but you know. Do not come. Do not come. Court is on the line. No, no, Taraji. Now, you know I wouldn't do that, especially not to a fellow bison. The real H.U.? You know. So what's on your mind? Oh, Madam VP Harris, I'm worried about the election. Women's reproductive rights are on the line. Our Supreme Court is on the line. Our basic freedoms are being tested. Madam VP, I know you've been traveling across the country. What are you hearing? Yeah, girl, I'm out here in these streets. And let me tell you, you're right to run. She's out here in these streets. She, there is so much at stake in this moment. The majority of us believe in freedom and equality. But these extremists, as they say, they not like us. No, uh, they not. There's a full-on attack. As they say, they not like us. Okay, okay, this one, this one's bad. This one's like, this is negative aura, negative aura, negative aura. Not good, not good. Abort, abort. It's extremist, as they say, they not like us. No, uh, they not. There's a full on attack on our. <laughs> even she's like, even she's having a hard time. After that line, she's like, uh, yeah. They not. There's a full on attack on our fundamental freedoms. The freedom to vote. Yep. The freedom to love who you love. The freedom to be safe from gun violence. The freedom for a woman to make decisions about her own body, not having her government. Big Sister General. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sister General. <laughs> it's dank. What, another one? Okay, so there's some education that needs to be done. I can see that. Okay, so there's some education that needs to be done. I can see that. Damn, she's holding a Funko Pop? That's crazy. What the hell is this? Have you seen the video titled Kamala Harris prosecutor sent this innocent man to prison by vice? No. Um, I might have. I mean, I've covered Kamala Harris's prosecution history uh, quite extensively. But... I don't know why you keep spamming this over and over again. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. We're riding with Mamala now, okay? Maybe that guy deserved it. How innocent was he, really? All right. Uh, all jokes aside. All jokes aside. One less Kamala moment? Okay. And as always, Wakanda forever. Paid for by Kamala Harris. What? I don't remember this. And as always, Wakanda forever. Paid for by Kamala Harris. That's real too. I thought it was fake. Yo, I literally thought that was AI, like some racist shit that Republicans cooked up. Bro, I, I straight up thought that was some like racist shit that the Republicans made with AI to be like, see, uh. <laughs> like that's so, oh my God, that's nuclear cringe. That's, an actual good clip of her. I've never seen people post before about apartheid last time. So up to the Capitol Mall, I felt like almost every weekend and protest against apartheid. And so this is us at a protest. We were protesting in particular for divestment from South Africa. You know what's crazy? 
Brandon was also super anti-apartheid, very publicly. <laughs> we have both a president and a vice president that were <laughs> ironically very anti-South African apartheid. Just, you know, something to think about. Something to think about <laughs> in terms of the current existing, very much supported apartheid in Israel.